The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. So, good morning. One of you asked me uh, yesterday uh, if uh, there wasn't going to be any videos on the DJI Mini 2 with all the new stuff that has been released of any of that is uh, kind of relevant uh, to this audience uh, still flying this uh, drone, the Mini 2. So I promised to uh, take it for a test flight this morning just to show you what's going on. And uh, I've decided to go here to the harbor of uh, Saskaven on this very, very beautiful morning with a crooked horizon. <laughs> Just to take this. Yeah, one of my earlier favorite drones on a test flight. It's kind of funny to revisit all the, the drones. Uh, I spent a lot of time flying uh, the Mini 3, but uh, so I kind of forget about all the other stuff and quicks and quirks that are <laughs> with these drones. So maybe you remember that I've been here before where I did like a video showing you different ways of flying the drone uh, around this building using a technique that makes it very, very easy not to get jerky footage, which I'm not doing right now. <laughs> you basically just yaw the drone. But to be able to do that, we need to go in and take control and go under the gain and expo settings. And this will answer one of the questions. If we got all the stuff that was released for the Mini 3, if that is uh, accessible for uh, the Mini 2. And as you can see, there's only the regular stuff here. And I need to push down the angular velocity down to five degrees per second. We don't have a possibility to sort of limit the horizontal speed as well as the ascent and descent speed, as well as adjusting the brake like we had uh, just released for for uh, um, Mini 3 Pro. So, okay, so let's repeat this uh, this uh, basically technique of flying without uh, making jerky footage. And that's basically you just pull the, the yaw to one side and then you can fly the drone around by altering the pitch and roll sticks. So apart from a little bit of a break up here, you just keep it to one side. And you can see, no matter what you do with this, the footage will stay smooth. This is the inlet for Saskatoon. My father, he lives <laughs> quite far down this inlet and I'm actually here to visit him. Oh, one of the questions, so, so the question to the, uh, the answer to the question it's called is that uh, we are not getting any updated gain and expo settings uh, for the Mini 2. So let's just go down here and explore this. Are these houseboats down here? That's pretty nice. I don't know if people are living in there, so I don't want to go too close. Maybe I can do. See these? It looks like people are living there. Maybe we should be a little bit careful invading people's privacy here. But luckily it's early in the morning. That's also why my voice is a little bit rusty. I just jumped out of bed. I saw that the weather was so nice. So I, I thought I would take this opportunity to go down here and film a little bit. So the only other thing we got with the 199 and uh, the aircraft firmware update 01070200 is these uh, reset options here in the bottom uh, of the drone. And this is, uh, yeah, we can't really do that, but there's a reset button that will allow us to reset all the settings of the drone. And there's also one where you can clear all data on the drone, including flight logs and everything in case that you want to sell it. 
So there's not much new added uh, for uh, for uh, the Mini 2 with this update. This was a test flight with the Mini 2. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give it a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you around.